see the audience so happy and enjoy the music and to see our puppet make the children smile, I think that's one of the biggest joys. And when we get together, when we come in this room to practice, you can just feel our excitement. We're bubbling we're with energy and positivity to see each other and to make the music together. I always used to say that I could never understand why some of the rock groups needed to take drugs to get a high. Give me a good audience with a lot of applause at the end and I can, I'm as high as a kite. <laughs> So I've been music director for what, 20 years or more? I don't know, it's a long time. I want to promote Scottish Celtic music and in a variety. I do not know any other group in Canada, in fact, even going online, that's doing what we are doing. I was born in Edinburgh. Those days there was a little, a small sort of theater, the same sort of theater we have here in our towns. I had that Scottish variety show and it changed every two weeks. And my grandparents took me to that show and that's what we've been working towards and I, I think we're sort of getting there. Phew, I'm, I'm tired now. Well, this one's called Ashton Ganella of Shreveport, Louisiana. And it's going to sound something like this. One of the things I like about him the most is the fact that he's so committed to what he's doing. He's 90 years old. He turned 90 in February, kind of, as he says, he feels like he's 68. He's funny, it's, it's, it's a good time playing in the orchestra. It's not too serious, and, and I like that when, uh, because in other groups I've been in, sometimes it, it can get too tight. I like the fun aspect of the orchestra, and I think Nelson has a lot to do with that. What year was it when you first met Nelson? Well, as far as we can remember, uh, it was about 1957. What I've always known with Nelson, whenever he asked me to do something, I knew it was always going to be a lot of hard work, but it was really going to be fun. And that's what we have here as well. It really is fun. And uh, it keeps us young. I swear that after a three hour practice, my brain is sharper than it was when I started. As you could probably tell from today's rehearsal, that we don't stick to jigs and reels and stuff. We, we go to slow airs and waltzes and, and, and I, I want, that's one thing I want to do. So the Caledonian Orchestra uh, is, the, is the main feature in the Caledonian show, of course. And I, I think it's cutting its own swath here. I think it's, I think it's doing that. And, and I must say that this, you've maybe had a chance to talk to someone. They are dedicated. They really are, because to, to sit down there and listen to me for two hours or three hours in rehearsal, I, I, I give them credit, and they, they love it. They, they love it. Yeah. Let me lift him up. So we have John Angus, and actually we've had this marionette probably, I'd say at least 30 years we've had this in our repertoire. We have over 200 marionettes, maybe 300, in our studio. And he, he retired from a show, and he just hangs around, and he plays on special request. And when I joined the uh, Caledonia Orchestra, he, he, I thought, maybe he would fit into the show. I mean, I'm there anyway. I might as well bring him along. And, and I talked to, to Nelson about uh, having this marionette, and, he, and Nelson just looked at me with this quizzical look like, OK? <laughs> I don't think he had really uh, to clues what I was talking about at first. He fits right in with our, uh, our Scottish theme. For me to do an arrangement for the orchestra, starting from scratch, I would say, at the least, a 40-hour week takes one arrangement, if I'm lucky. I left out the most important thing, which I say to the orchestra all the time. 
My philosophy is, our job is, to please our audiences and have a heck of a lot of fun in the process. That's, and I mean that sincerely.